So good to start? Yep. Good to start. Good evening. Uh, today is uh, August. August. Yes, August 7th. I should look at the right piece of paper. August 7th, this is the Fort River School Building Committee. Um, we are at the uh, Amherst Police Station Community Room. Um, and this is being taped by Amherst Media. And I will call us to order. Then move on to meeting minutes. Uh, we have meeting minutes from our last uh, meeting, which is now May 14th. Um, are there any comments on these minutes, corrections, or other things? Eric? I move the approval of the minutes of May 14th. Second. Second. All in favor? Seeing minutes have been approved. Uh, the next item is who would be willing to volunteer to take uh, minutes for tonight? Um, I'll do it too. Oh, thank yeah, you. Then. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, that means you can grab your own abstention. The next item is assu assuming that this becomes our, our last formal get together um, that is not a kind of a, you know, uh, a non quorum participation in a presentation by TSKP or something um, as a last kind of quorum group uh, we would need to be able to approve a final set of minutes um, some other way than all of us getting together and having to repeat the cycle just to repeat the cycle um, so I think I need to ask for a vote to allow me as chair should this be our last meeting to approve the minutes Would someone want you to talk about that or move for that uh, I will move that the chair be designated as uh, being able to approve any future minutes, uh, current and future minutes. Second. Any other questions or debate? If it's the last one. If it's the last one, yeah. I mean, if we have to get back together, then we have to vote on them. So. All in favor? Great. I don't believe we were going to have any public comment today. Oh, oh no, right, no, wrong, no, wrong. no. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'm Tony Cunningham, behind the camera most of the time. I've been following the work of this committee closely since your first meeting back in November of 2017, one year and eight months ago, and I wanted to commend you all on your commitment to this process. Many of you have been here from the start, coming prepared to meetings, asking hard questions of the designers from TSKP, and pushing for a report that covered all the bases. Strongly held differing views came into this process, and you found a way to work together. Diverse representation is essential to producing a better product that will have broad credibility. Future committees should emulate this. There were challenges getting quorum since you never had the full complement of 12 members. It was unfortunate that there was no facilities director or Fort River teacher for most of the time, that attendance was challenging for administrators, and that appointing new members to replace those that dropped out was held up by the changeover in government. Despite this, you got the work done, actively seeking input from school staff on multiple occasions and holding meetings at all three elementary schools to report on progress and answer questions. Transparency of the process was important. You maintained a website, issued press releases, and with Marla and I videotaping all the meetings and Amherst Media posting them online, residents could easily keep up on the progress in their own time. You are the first town committee to look at designing a building that meets net zero energy standards. That work will be extremely useful to the town as it embarks on multiple municipal building projects that will need to comply with the zero energy town buildings bylaw. Looking at four different enrollments with and without preschool was important too as it allows extrapolation to different size schools. Working together with TSKP, this committee has produced a report that you can all be proud of, and it came in under budget. So as you wrap this report up and prepare to present your work to the town council and the school committee, I wanted to acknowledge your contributions and those of the members that participated early on in the process. I hope Amherst will be establishing a new school building committee in January with the backing of the MSBA. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on uh, to the cost estimating reconciliation process uh, that mostly happened at, at the working group level. Actually, all did work at the, at the working group level. Um, I can say that we're 
we've completed that process with the TSKP, um, at least in the, in the hard work of doing the reconciliation with the two cost estimators. Fortunately, we're still waiting for some final edit edits. I did reach back out to uh, TSKP this afternoon, but wasn't able to get an update on the status of things. So I've kind of distributed where we left off uh, with, some, with a set of uh, corrections or clarifications that we'd already asked TSKP to do. Um, I don't know if folks want to talk about uh, anything else they may have seen, but certainly we can pass comment on. I have a couple several comments. Um, I, first, I want to thank you for because this must have been a lot of work. <laughs> um, I think it was a lot, we, lot more work for the estimators than it was for us, but it, it was work for the. But then, by looking well. at all these numbers, Maria, I, want, I want to thank you. Maria put in some very detailed analysis yes, she did. <laughs> early, <laughs> early on. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to thank you. But I, I, I was reading the this appendix uh, today. I must confess, it was today. And there are some things that I would like, maybe we can discuss to have changed. Uh, because the numbers that you have on page one, first, there's a mistake. Um, on Fogarty, on, on the table, they list exactly the same number for option C and D. And I don't think that's the right one. Yes, I think, I think you're correct. I, was that on our list? I, I, I did not print out our list of I don't back to know, my email. but, but um, we, we did have a question about that, and it, 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 I went back and I did look at the leveling sheet, yeah. and indeed, um, it looks like D has the wrong numbers. It looks like that's the correct numbers for C, right. but we don't have the correct numbers for D, and, and the same problem happened on the leveling sheet in the back, so I think we need to. If we didn't already pass that comment, uh, we will. We will. Yeah. Okay, and then. Um, I was trying to compare with the numbers we had before right. the reconciliation from Fogarty to see what, during the reconciliation if those numbers, these numbers had changed with respect to the original numbers that they had provided us. So I was trying to see if they had moved up or down uh, too much. The, the easiest answer to that is they did a little of both. Both, both estimators as part of that reconciliation process adjusted their base numbers um, and it and they were obviously able to come to a place where they were not too far apart but the, the issue is we don't have these kind of numbers um, we don't have them in the report so I was going through section six in section six we have the total cost for US 30 on a right. and US 30 C that is not the construction cost that we have listed um, so, if you want to compare after the this correct after this and go back to the original numbers, there's no easy way of comparing these numbers to the ones that we had before, because we have a table with UI fifties yep. for all of them, uh, but we don't have um, whenever it is mentioned in UI thirties the total cost. So then, to see how how the cost estimation changed a little bit. That that is true, and I think I think we kind of alluded to some of that hard to compare, um, uh, kind of kind of recognizing that it was hard to kind of backtrack. Um, we put a little bit of that in Jesse's court uh, from DSKP to, to kind of clarify and explain how we should use the reconciled numbers um, because of that back and forth. So I'm not sure that I necessarily can give you an answer on um, how to best address that. I uh, even could be even here to put either to put it like this and then put the total project cost next to it. So yeah. so that it's clear if you open one place because you want to be able to translate this reconciliation into all our project. But if you don't have an anchoring point that says, okay, this is right. how it changed. It's very hard. I have asked Jesse to put, and I'll, I'll come to you in just a second, to put the reconciliation process in a little bit of context, because I am not absolutely certain that there's going to be that neat, nice, neat one-to-one -one comparisons when we're all done. I think that they should be somewhat relatable, but because of the fact of bringing two sets of estimators together with two sets of approaches, I think there's going to be a little, a little discontinuity between 
No, I understand, but maybe just the WP is stable with as a project cost okay. compared and at as a total cost. And then you can look at the total cost and go back to section six and compare the total cost. And this is it's the, a percentage. This, this, which table are you looking for? Uh, table one. It's the one on the cover. Okay. Yeah. So that then you can go back to section six and okay. After the preservation the total cost is this before we have this other one, this has to go. Um, I, I had a similar issue from a different, slightly different direction. There, there were like three or four sets of numbers and they didn't reconcile and I spent a lot of time like worrying over that until I got to the leveling sheet at the very back right. and realized that the leveling sheet numbers had been pulled all the way forward and I almost wonder if we, uh, I don't know if this is going to be presented in this fashion but it's almost too much information. And without some kind of explanation for right. Jesse of like, here, here's how you should interpret these numbers and here's which ones are the important. And, and that's the piece we don't have yet from them. The other, thing, the other thing that I thought would be inherently helpful would be to take those leveling sheets and put them right here, right, <laughs> right I, after this, this chart essentially, because that's, that's where they relate. Because what they put in between was all the history. And so we've passed on that comment. Okay. I would be very surprised if we, we didn't get that. That, that edit. Maria, did you want to add? Yeah, that was that was part yeah. of it. I mean, um, I think that Jesse probably has to put some more narrative to explain the back and forth process. Maybe, you know, in, in broad strokes, not in line by line, but, but broadly, these are the kind of things that went up or went down, and um, and labeling and moving, moving those leveling sheets up. Um, and how should, and I think he owes us kind of how we should look at this process because you know for the whole whole history of the, the study we had a set of numbers yeah. it was part of our charge to get the independent review and have that reconciled um, and I, I think he just needs to put that in a little bit of context so that that things are in context yeah Eric? so I'm t I, I agree with everything you just said and I'm trying to figure out um, how much of that has been communicated yet or so you're going to go back and ask for more, I mean, A, I think these sheets should be up front, um, it makes sense, and B, I do think there should be more narrative around both literally what you're looking at, right. things that are currently now, and then also literally for the reader, well, how should they make use of this information or interpret it? The, uh, the fact that they differ doesn't bother me, because actually I think that's actually in some ways good because rather than looking at this as some sort of like tablet from God, where it's like people start looking at costs <laughs> right. as being like immutable, and it's like this is the number, I think it's better to think that reasonable professionals can slightly disagree, but then it still leaves the reader to say, well, how do I make sense of this? Right. And, they need, and there needs to be something there to help them do that. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I mean, it, it, when we were doing this, it was basically, we, we had this our goal was if we can get them within 5%, hmm. that would make sense. That, and, that, and so you could look at the number and say, give yourself 5% tolerance and you decide it yeah. and have it make sense. I think we need a little bit more labeling. We talked about that. And it, it, the middle section of this new part um, confused me for a really long time, and we were listening to it. And I think it's because this is the first place where you have all of these listed out line by line for EUI 30. Right. So that needs a little clarity. And then each of the each of these tables needs its, it just, I know it's maybe redundant, but on each page, this is EUI, whatever, this is well, what procurement method, it w just list all of those things that make a difference. And I think it'll make a lot more sense but we need the narrative. With a good narrative, better narrative yes. than the I think the narrative, sorry. <laughs> I think the narrative also has to say that, um, a little more why we chose these three. Not that we are picking these three as top contenders, because we are putting more emphasis on these three, and the task of this committee was to look at many options, but I think it has to be clarified because of lack of methods and everything to estimate. We chose three that look what I want to do is look back and make sure that he didn't include that someplace else because I, I, but I don't remember the whole breadth of the study at the moment. But you're right; it could be repeated. I here, think it he wouldn't be bad to repeat it, it so that it's yeah. in context because somebody won't read the 300 and 400 pages and my open chest is. 
and then I will turn <laughs> audio on my phone. I think we're in a safe location. <laughs> but, yes. it, but for those people watching, they need to know we, we are in a safe location. Yes. <laughs> so I think it wouldn't be bad to repeat it on the opening page so that, because not everybody's going to read everything, and, and it's very hard to find it. So then it has to be clear like, as a separate item. Great. Yeah, I'm agreeing with all these comments. Um, I, I'm looking at what I went back and looked in other parts and then filled in my <laughs> chart. And that's like a real quick synopsis, what option A was, it was new building, 100% new, what option C, D, mm -hmm. and then what the uh, different HVAC options, what the differences were. And um, this one I didn't fill in for myself, but I think the reader might want to know again, what's the CM versus GC and why, why did we do GC for one of these again? I know we talk about it in other parts of the report, but if, they, if it's a reference back to the other part of the report, could do that. But it's short enough, I think, maybe in one sense to explain that because it was new construction, G, GC bid, same thing. I, I don't know. I mean, that's not funny about this, but if there's already good, I mean, we know there is some good language in our report describing some of these things. It's easy to pull a sentence and literally just cut and paste the same yeah, sentence. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, in other words, it doesn't need to be overworked. Like, on the part of the, the extra work they're doing, right, they, they, didn't, they didn't need to overwork it. <laughs> just cut and paste the, literally the same words, drop them in, and boom, you'll have that explanation right there. And then, oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Oh, and I think I, I found Maya Coda's, if I'm saying that right, presentation a little better because they had a that those guideposts at the top of every page, and A.M. Fogarty didn't, I don't know if we could change their pages, but um, just saying, oh, you're talking about option A, or whatever, in this sheet, I, I found it was easier to remember where I was in the Mayakota estimate than in the Fogarty. Other, other questions, comments? Um, and I, I certainly don't want to, because for the broader group, you only recently got this. And so folks want to, and it probably makes sense actually, if I could ask you to put your request in an email that way. Um, I, I can get them sooner probably and, and, uh, and get them out. Um, but if, if folks could put, as thoughts come to you, put them in an email, I will forward them on to Jesse. Um, and I will uh, tap them again tomorrow, to see what, what the timeline is. What's your deadline for that? Um, if folks could do, I knowing it's summertime, if folks can do it by the end of the week, that would be great. Um, because the sooner I can get anything last to them, the sooner I can start having them for the final report. Yeah. Um, and as we're going to get to soon, we want to have a presentation to the school committee. Yeah. Um, and I would like them to, to be complete at that time. That's a personal. How are they, how are they, I mean, in your last interaction with them, how are they? sitting in regard to this? I mean, are they well, close to being done? Are they excited to get our to feedback to finish up? Or um, they <laughs> dreading our phone calls? <laughs> I hope you they're know. not dreading our phone calls. Um, but it's summertime, and I, you know, I, I have no doubt that they've got you know, projects in many phases. And so this, yeah. this, this time of year, at, right before the start of the school year, is, is often a busy one. So you know, between vacations and busyness, I don't, I don't think they're at that done place yet. So that means people have to get their feedback by the end by Friday. Yeah. Because if, if we, if we have, we all know the way life works. If our response is the dangling thread, then they they're going to they're going to sit on the report until until we close out what we right. need to get done to them. And I, I believe that they still owe us uh, some. They weren't huge edits, but they. But when we voted to accept the rest of the product, we had. A, a, Fairly yeah, there were, clear. There were a few. Yeah. A fairly clear line of things that they needed to do, and I haven't yet received, yeah. um, unless I've lost it in my email, <laughs> in the intervening months, uh, a final draft that incorporates those. So sure. I'm looking for two things. Um, right. And since it has been so long <laughs> since we met last, um, uh, uh, the town has presented the firm maps, and so that was also something that was communicated back to um, to TSKP that, you know. The, the, they're not approved yet. That's a, that's a longer process, but that should resolve a lot of the questions. So they can probably tighten up that section as well. Um, I don't know if there's well, I don't know. Or get the done, or get the report. It could be an incentive to get the report finished. 
so they don't have to react to it. <laughs> that would be. This is the stick you needed, the yeah. carrot and stick you needed to. I'm sure they, I, I, I do truly believe they have as much interest in as we do in, in, in bringing this to closure. Sure they do. I have a couple more comments on sure. about this. Uh, so I think we we reiterated the issue about putting more details. Which one is UI 30, UI 50? Because I was looking at the construction score per, per square foot, and I was like, wait, one is 340, the other one is 330, the other one is 315. Why? And it's mainly because one is 50, the other one is. Right. So then, to have a reminder. And then, um, on Miyakada, I was reading, I think it's advantages of disadvantages of being so detailed on the <laughs> cost estimation, because I forgot it's much more broad, not so detailed. And there's some weird things on Miyakada's listings. Um, there's stairs for her, um, Nine, one was at line 365 was theater stairs. Well, that, uh, some of that came out during the, the reconciliation process. Lockers. Yeah, uh, yes, that one definitely came up. Lockers, yeah. um, mirrors for private bathrooms, 13. Uh, I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is unfortunately part of the process at this level. When we're at the study level, they, they, they have to kind of um, any estimator is going to have to kind of um, use their best judgments to make sure that they're, they have the right level of detail. But that was definitely what was happening during that process. And believe it or not, it wasn't just on Miyakota's side because they were, they were newer to the process. Yeah. Fogarty had been there a while. There were items in Fogarty's estimates that, that in looking at what Miyakota had done, um, that, oh, well, we should have done this. And we did that. Yeah, so. but for example, the locus is a hundred thousand dollars. It's not the right. Negative. But but the, but those items have been reconciled. Okay. Great. Jonathan, is is the reconciliation reflected somehow in this? Does that does that impact the leveling sheet, or is that sort of a separate track? That's the right. leveling sheet reflects the final reconciled numbers from both sets of estimators, plus TSKPs. Um, task, which was to make sure that all the um, kind of additive things like the contingencies, like the bonds, like the overheads, were all kind of lined up and equal so that, because each of them had uses their own processes, inserts them at different points, um, and it has an effect on the bottom line. And if you really want to compare, do the best comparison, you want to kind of level it. Um, and st but starting with the construction cost numbers that each, each of them have developed. But, but, but your, your comments aren't in this yet. No, I, 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 the, the comments that we, the working group had passed on are not in what you see tonight. Just to kind of um, orient you a little bit, when we first got the, the estimate from Mayakota, it was significantly nowhere off. near within 5%. Um, and there were clearly, um, a lot of it was, oh, we, that wasn't our intention, that's not what this is going to be, you know, like, so it, it, we, we had to do a lot of getting people on the same page, so we started very far apart, <laughs> um, and, um, but once they got on the phone with each other on a number of occasions, <laughs> this, this was multiple meetings, um, they, The two estimators. The yes. Two, the, yes, it was the the conversation was the the two estimators, TSKP, and the three of us. Yeah, we, we we were kind of the flies on the walls, and were we we pointed out things that we didn't think might be right, um, but it was really the two of them having a conversation mediated by um, Jesse from TSKP. That's helpful. Yeah. Good. That's the way it should happen. Yeah. Other comments, questions. So we we were owed. Uh, returned work on this, um, which which needs to get finished up before we call this done. Yeah. So the, I was checking. I haven't seen this. I haven't made it to the last page. I must confess. So I see the leveling. So option B on the leveling page is wrong for uh, yes. And there were also, as I recall, some labeling errors. Um, you know, there were some things. One of, I think the, I think the new construction 
was labeled CM or something like that. So there, there were a number of issues, both kind of typographical on, on TSKP's part and, and some edits the other folks needed to make that, that have not rippled through. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on if, 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 you, if everyone's had enough time to comment. Um, to uh, the kind of presentations of the completeness of this project, of this, uh, this uh, study. Um, first likely thing on the agenda will be a, a meeting with the school committee, which, uh, since Mike's away, he doesn't know this yet, but uh, TSKP can make it to the September 17th. Thank you, so uh, Tuesday, yeah, uh, meeting. And so it's on their agenda to do that. And so that's the other kind of uh, driver to get comments back and get them finished up is so that there is a completed project for that. Um, September 17th. 17th. I don't have a date yet for a town or a town town council one. Okay. Would uh, TSKP also come for the town or can we think of doing a joint meeting between the school committee and the town? I think the school, at least what, what I got from Mike before he left, this, at least and I don't think you were around here, so was not. Uh, you can cut me off if, I'm, if you've heard something else that I haven't, um, that, this, that the chair at least wants to have this happen at, at school at a solo, you know, as, as their venue, not a joint meeting with the town council. I'm sorry. So it would be the second. No, the chair of the school committee wanted a she, solo meeting. Well, it's not going to necessarily be a solo meeting just on this topic, but and not a joint meeting with, the, a, with, the, with the town council. Yeah, it's just the presentation of the school committee. Yeah. In the public that shows up. Yes. I mean, I, I, I've expressed my opinion about yeah. this, and um, but to express it to the, to the committee, I do think that it makes sense to do a joint meeting for, for, for no other reason than to have TSKP only come up here once rather than come up here to do two meetings. Um, um, so if um, I'm not sure what the conversations have been with town council, and maybe town council can talk to school committee and, and see if they would be willing to do that. Um, the work we did obviously has impacts for the school, but it has big impacts for the town as well and implications. And I think it, they, they may learn something from each other also by being all in the same room. So if they could think about that, I would appreciate okay. that consideration. And, and um, I don't know if we are we going to need to be, it, it's, have we paid TSKP for everything that they? We have not paid them their final invoice, although this committee has approved it. So I was going to send it off to Sean tomorrow morning. Would it require more compensation for additional meetings? Um, I th I need to go. I just go. Was I that tightly written? But no, it what it, it, well, actually, give me a second. I'll go back to their original. More than a second I have to log in. Well, I think it, it. I mean, I think that's a good thing to work out because if our current budget or at least approved invoices are that we we can't ask them to do a separate um, meeting with the town council, then I think at the very least, the chair of the school committee and the president of the town council should at least be aware of that. So that you know what I mean. So that yeah. if they wanted, they to want to do make that, a choice. They that's right. They want to make a choice. They can make that choice. But it's, um, if we have to pay for them to come, then we have to pay them twice. It has to be pretty formal. I mean, should we figure out if the council actually wants us? Like, we, we're talking, I, I do not get the impression that the council wants to devote a long, a long amount of time to this. They, they were interested in the spring, I, I wish I could remember the month now, uh, with a, what was described as a short presentation. So a shorter presentation than what the school committee is interested in. The school committee like to have a final presentation that's akin to the prior presentations where TSKP comes and talks for 15 or 20 minutes and then there's 15 or 20 minutes of kind of questions. Um, in June, May or June, uh, the town council was thinking more like a 15 minute kind of presentation. It's honestly up to them. It is up to them. I can't, I can't, <laughs> exactly. I can't make them accept an idea. I can, I don't mind, you know, Putting the ideas in front of I them, think and the key is, I think the key thing is to put the ideas in front of them, yeah. and then also make them aware 
how we're scheduling things, right. and then find out if there's a budget implication. Right. Make sure they're aware of the budget implication. Right. And I, I, and then I offer think it would be important to have the GSP be there, given the, the length and breadth of this thing, um, to be able to kind of talk from the perspective of our consultant. And this is, you know, yeah. they, they are they're wanting to talk about major capital planning. They've been doing a lot this summer. They want right. to bring this to the public, you know, on, on larger issues in October. Yep. It's right up the alley. It's net zero. It's it's the only, it, we are the only committee that has addressed net zero in a, in a concrete way. Yep. So. Well, yeah. I will be happy in my role as chair to reach out and Follow up. So we contracted with TSKP for three meetings, but they were specifically one after preliminary options, one after cost estimation, and one after final. So contractually, there's only one meeting after final options. Right. Okay. So they could ask us for a. a they could ask us for a change order if they yeah. wanted to for a second meeting. Okay. And would we be jumping the gun too much to ask uh, whether we could afford to do that if? We wish to do. Do we want to move on to budget? Do folks mind? Because it'll kind of answer part of the question that's outstanding here. Yeah. Uh, the answer is I, this is the final budget as it stands in front of you. Um, there's six, by rights, there's $63,692.77 totally unencumbered uh, in our capital account. So, yes, we could, if they had a change order for us, we could do it. Okay. Um, this committee would probably need to. Regroup to approve it, I would guess. Which we could probably do actually at the presentation as long as it's properly posted. Yeah. Yes. All yeah. that stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I don't anticipate any further. We haven't approved Neocoda's invoices yet, but they're accounted for in this budget. Um, I don't anticipate any further charges. I don't know what the timeline is, but in time, the comptroller will uh, close this capital account and return the funds to the general fund. Yeah, I, I, I don't actually know what the timeline is or the our decommissioning process. Uh, I guess it would probably be up mostly to the school committee since we were created by them. That's, yeah, that's it's certainly we don't get to disappear until we make that that presentation. Is kind of been well, the chart the charge yeah. that existed was that when when you when we <clears throat> make the presentation to us, yeah. <laughs> poof, it disappears. Okay. That, I mean that's it. That's how it's written. So. But we can still participate as private citizens. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying that's, that's, li council. that's literally how, I mean, it's almost self-executing. Okay. Like basically the committee dissolves at the point and presents, the re sends the report and presents the conclusions to the school committee. Okay. So are we gonna, are we gonna authorize you to um, talk to the town council, follow up again with school committee, and yes. with Anthony follow up with the TSKP and see if they, if we need to do another presentation how much it costs and I, don't know. I can ask, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I I prefer to I prefer to know we have to well I'll ask it. I'll ask it. I would like to see the report before we have the presentation. I have some time to look at it before they make the presentation to the school committee and the town council. Yeah. Um, I think I think we need to see the report and make sure that all our comments are in there or what we wanted to see is there before we have a presentation because it's our work there. Right. Is there work they're presented but it reflects on us and if things like option B is repeated or I forget that was the expectation, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean they, they, they owe it to us before but it gets they, presentable. Do you, I, I, maybe we I might say I don't know if we like it, but maybe we need us one minute. Perhaps, I mean, we, we technically, I mean, we can choose to not do this, but we, we technically did vote on it, provided that, that it was accepted, provided that they incorporate the things that were changed. So we can either meet again to confirm yeah. that, or we could ask a working group to look at it, presumably, um, or we could ask one of ourselves to do it, but I think it's too daunting of a task for one person personally, given how much there is and how much time has passed. Uh, do folks want to meet again, or, or Feel like we can ask a working group to look at it when they return. I think it, it kind of depends on what it looks like. I yeah. Mean, if we get it, and you know, we we should all look at it. Yes, we should. And if 
there's nothing substantive to go, to go over then okay but I mean I, if, there, if there is reason to, if there's something in there that requires discussion then yeah, obviously we have to do, right. discuss that publicly but we won't know until we see it That's true. and it should I mean theoretically they've incorporated everything that we did at the last meeting and right. then the changes from the cost estimate that really should be it. yeah I mean my, my assumption would be if there are any, mis I mean, I'm hoping <laughs> that if there are any mis mistakes in the final document, that wouldn't then not be, would not be in the final document. Right. It would be based on either typos that still weren't corrected, which God knows we gave them all, and is in or out, um, or again, sort of the transposition of tables or something, or something was dropped in where it shouldn't have been. Um, I hope that's the case because I mean, they've gotten really thorough feedback. I, I would agree with that. So we, <laughs> yes. I mean, but I mean, so I. I mean, I agree with what Aaron is saying, but I mean, does that, I don't think that changes what we're doing, right? No. Because I mean, if we mean, meaning I'm just, what am my point being, is that if TSKP doesn't get the final report to us until September 15th, yeah. then we're not presenting it on the 17th, no. right? We're rescheduling. Right. I mean, my point is, so that my point is, we, I think, I'm assuming that, that you as chair are already sort of authorized to keep rolling this thing out yeah. to ensure that we, it's, I mean, we need to push the, which is probably Anthony's job, we need to push the, the consultant if, they, if we find at some point they're not really delivering right. quickly enough. But in general, the only thing we need to do right now is decide how much time do we want to be able to review it so that, I mean, what's enough time, what's enough notice? Two weeks, three weeks, four months? I think it's gotta be two weeks. I'd say two weeks too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I was going to say more. Um, I, would, I mean, I would, I would like to see this before September, the, the final. I think if we're worried there are going to be things that need to be corrected that have to be corrected, and I think it's, by the way, I think it's completely reasonable to assume they're going to screw up something, not out of any malice, but just because it's hard to get a document like that fully corrected, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would tend to agree that if we look toward the end of this month, that they simply got to get it to us by the end of the month. Yeah. If we're going to stay on this timeline, and, and if we don't, and then, then we're going to get pushed weeks, out. Roughly speaking, before the school committee, and so, so I will communicate two and a half. tomorrow, two and a half, yeah. um, that we really need to have. I'm trying to decide if I want to publicly in front of a camera, but I tell them the, the end of the month, you know, so, uh, August thirty first, or or actually a little bit before that, uh, knowing that humans will be a little delayed. Um, but it's also opening up an honest conversation. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's not funny about this, but if if they have to rush for them based on what other sure. workflow for horribly to get it done in two weeks, then it won't which be right. then yeah. up, which then ups the likelihood that there'll be lots of typos and mistakes in it or, or transposed tables. Yeah. Then what I think the nice thing about putting pressure on them to say we need it by X date yeah. is it can open up an honest conversation with them, which they honest if they said to us. And I know we want it done, but if they said to us, look, I can get you a perfect, what we'll think would be a perfect product in by September 10th, right. um, or I can get you whatever I can get you doing the best we can right. by you know September 27th, then my view is talk to the chair and Mike, yeah. ch move the date out and tell them September 10th, but then right. tell them, look, we're, 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 we really, really, we're really, really getting really a lot of pressure that, to get exactly. this done. Make sure you get it done by yeah. then. Just because it needs to be done right. And I'd, I'd rather, us all look at the document on September 10th and say, wow, this is amazing. They actually got all our comments. Then look at it on September, August 25th and say, ooh, this isn't good. Yeah. But they'll tell you what they tell you. Yeah. They might tell you they're much farther along than we know. Yeah. And they have, there has been time. Yeah. Something exactly. Has gotten. Exactly. Do you feel comfortable that you know yeah. what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. I've got the clear direction. Right. And, and, I just want to make sure that the, is the committee cool if we can get a joint or solo present, whatever with the town. I mean, are there any objections by the committee to present? Oh, yeah. Okay. Over and done one meeting is better than two. But yes. um, my, my guess is that each, each is going to want their own bite at the apple, and I'm, I'm okay with that too. I just want to bring it to the best conclusion we can. Okay. What have we missed on this agenda? We have to approve invoices. Yeah. Yes. So two invoices from Minneapolis. Um, the 
feasibility and then the reconciliation, uh, that is exactly what they quoted. So I see no reason not to approve. We move to approve the invoice for Mia Cota, one for 7,000 and one for 1,200. Second. Second. Favor? Passed. Skip over it. Is that it? Uh, almost. Um, no, we're running out the door. I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and given that, that, you know, kind of what we've been talking about tonight, it might be slightly premature to do a final press release, but we should do a final press release. And so um, Heather has done one, but I'm wondering if we, I, I have the sneaking suspicion that we'll probably meet one last, last time as a group. And, and perhaps that's, that's the primary, other than looking at this, discussing the final draft. Um, maybe that's a topic for them that even unless anyone wants to talk about it tonight I have what uh, somewhere I is that distributed to us I think it was some time ago and I thought I had brought some copies of it but can I can I um, my my um, my recommendation yep would be that we just redistribute it and that we probably are going to have to meet again yeah let's put it on the agenda for that meeting because also my point is, release? yeah, a final, final press, press release. Because also that's a final press release. This this was a draft. This I think it was probably done a draft uh, several months ago now. Um, but that that probably hasn't been distributed. It wasn't yet. distributed. Yeah. That's just my point. So it'd, it'd be better for us to have it distributed a, yeah. and then b. I mean, what does a press release include in it? We met. We did X. We're presenting it on Y. It's available at Z. Right. I mean, my point is what we. Yes, and said. <laughs> Use some language. We're, we're, we're Canadian now. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? My entire yeah. point is, <laughs> is, that the, is that the final press release is supposed to include yeah. actual factual details that are of use to a reader when they see it. And like, like, oh, it's host, it, there's a copy at the Jones. It's posted on this website. I can go get it. You know what I mean? Like, so you want all those details nailed down as well as it's being presented to the school committee on next night or a joint committee on meeting on Friday. So Maria was first. Oh, um, I was going to suggest that because we want to, I mean, I know we've had public presentations on this, but this is going to be the grand finale. Um, I'm going to throw out an idea that I just had of possibly Jonathan and I writing a column so that we know that it, it will be more likely to get out there. Um, press releases can end up in. Where all the rest of them have. Where all of the rest of them have, which is nowhere. Um, um, and we could, I think, it, I think it would have more of a chance to get out there and do it in a timely way so that people, if they wanted to show up for one or both or yeah. whatever it is. Then well, I think we could, have, we could have a little working group on that that, that could work on that over the next few days. I think what I'll do is I'll send out a notice in case some who are not here tonight want to participate or not participate in that. Um, but then they're in. I have a question, and this is going to be a ton of words. Did we say that we're going to be a public outreach at the end also? I you think know? we have, except for like a, you know, kind of the press release and, and the, the, the town our, council and the school committee, I don't believe we're having any more public events that that has not at least going from memory which at this point I don't is remember on the original yeah. document whether we had said that we were going to have something at the end or not I think it was the, yeah. I think it was the presentation yeah. to the to the school committee yeah. okay. to the council but, um, but because I think the intention of having the um, the other public outreach was to get feedback oh, while we were still working right. so that we could okay. incorporate right. ideas so then this press release or this Letter should be well in advance or out before any of our presentations to the school committee or, or the town council. Yeah, it needs to be ahead enough to, to get people to, yeah, to drive people to yeah. and communicate to them yeah. where they can get it. Where they but it can can't be ahead of us it. actually having that final draft because then we won't know when we're aiming right. for. Yeah. So we're, we'll, yeah. if point. we have it pr partly prepared. Or prepare ahead of time. And then you can fill in. But I think. Date. Do we need to okay a working group on that? Or? Uh, we should probably vote on it. That never hurts to in these conditions to vote on things. Although it's not on my 
Well, I have final press release. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yep. Oh, there was a, there was an update. There was an but update. It got posted on the town, the town's website. Yes. And my agenda is different. I apologize. Oh. So I, 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 I downloaded town the town council and, like, and, and the notion of a, a press release. Okay. Um, and I and I can do that quite close to the end, but I didn't get it out in an email. I you apologize. You can amend that. it in less than forty eight hours. Yes. I'm, 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 actually, it's funny. I was actually literally going to ask this question only because it's my agenda didn't include these items. I was going to say. It's great that we're freelancing, but are we bordering on? But you have it in no, there. No, I have it. I have it in there. Yes. It's an issue. Oh, sorry. We're going to violate public open meeting law in our yes. last meeting, our second yes. last meeting. That's not a good thing. No. But we are not. It turns out it was posted appropriately, <laughs> but not sent to the committee members, which is why I was confused. I've made good friends with the folks at the town clerk's yes. office over the last year and a half. So do you just want a motion on the working group for the press release, or or, or for? I, let's or, let's or leave it a little bit more generic. Press, press release, release or or article or, or, or some items. sort of public newspaper -y Oh, and a column. Thing. Yeah. So just press release and possible column. It's so moved. Second. All in favor. And that completes the, the agenda for tonight. In case this is our last, I want to thank some people. Amherst Media, our film crew um, and the rest of you guys thank you very much it was a pleasure working with all of you thank I think you we've done good work yeah absolutely I'll put a plug in for our, ourselves a good quality <laughs> good quality work <laughs> well worth reading when you finally get the chance to that's right thank you, uh, thank you. Thanks, move to adjourn oh yes move to second. adjourn second all in favor aye, aye. aye.